Welcome back to the ninth season of Spidell's California Minute podcast. I'm your host, Catherine Zidane, the editorial director at Spidell, and this week we're covering a bill that's been introduced which would allow entities to make a pass-through entity tax election, even if they didn't make a June 15th prepayment. Spidell's post-tax season update and review webinar covers answers to all of the questions that pop up during tax season, like ERC audits and Secure 2.0 Act changes going into effect in 2024. Get registered at one of four dates in May at caltax.com under webinars. The chair of the California Senate's Revenue and Taxation Committee, Senator Steve Glazer, has introduced SB 1501, which would allow entities to qualify to make the pass-through entity tax election even if they do not satisfy the June 15th prepayment requirement. If enacted, SB 1501 would authorize retroactive to taxable years beginning on or after January 1, 2024, a qualified pass-through entity to make a pass-through entity tax election without making the requisite June 15th prepayment, but only if the taxpayer pays a penalty equal to 5% of the elective tax due plus interest. The penalty would have to be paid by the due date of the original return without regard to any extensions. This bill, if it's enacted, would provide relief to many taxpayers who may have inadvertently failed to satisfy the June 15th prepayment requirement. Taxpayers and tax professionals who would like to see this bill passed should contact their state legislators. Under California's pass-through entity tax law for taxable years 2021 through 2025, a qualified S-corporation, partnership, or LLC taxed as a partnership or S-corporation can make an election to pay a pass-through entity elective tax equal to 9.3% of its qualified net income. A single-member LLC treated as a disregarded entity is not eligible to make the election. This tax is deductible on the federal entity return and decreases the federal net income included on the owner's K-1. California also allows the entities consenting individual, estate, trust, and certain single-member LLC owners to claim a credit on their California return of up to 100% of the tax paid on their behalf. Beginning with the 2022 taxable year, to qualify to make the election, a qualified entity has to make a prepayment of the tax by June 15th of the current tax year. The June 15th prepayment deadline applies to both calendar and fiscal year taxpayers. The FTB has confirmed that because June 15, 2024 falls on a Saturday, the 2024 pass-through entity elective tax prepayment deadline of June 15 is extended to June 17, 2024. The FTB's pass-through entity tax FAQs specifically state, Quote, when the statutory due date for the first or the second payment falls on a weekend or legal holiday, a payment made on the next business day will be treated as made on the statutory due date. For example, with respect to the 2024 taxable year of election, if the payment due on or before June 15, 2024 is paid in the statutorily required amount on or before June 17, 2024, the payment will be considered timely, end quote. But the FTB is not revising the 2024 Form 3893 Pass-Through Entity Elective Tax Payment Voucher or the Form 3893 Instructions to reflect the June 17th payment date, even though the second 2024 Form 3893 Voucher shows that the March 2025 payment is due on March 17, 2025, as a result of March 15th falling on a Saturday. So if your clients question if it's okay for them to pay by June 17th when the form specifically states June 15th, 2024, you can refer them to the FTB's website. For in-depth information on the pass-through entity elective tax and corresponding credit, register for Spidel's two-hour California pass-through entity tax webinar on May 21st. Understand who can and cannot make the election, what happens if the tax is overpaid or underpaid, when making the election is beneficial, and more. Get details at caltax.com under webinars. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another episode of Spidel's California Minute.